What is going on guys, today we're going to be doing a review on this man right here. Alexander Arnold has got himself a team of the year 95. If you have been living under a rock, um, you could see we've got a couple of the team of the years in the uh, club at the minute. We've still got Ronaldo after doing his review um, on his loan. We managed to get seven games with him. At the minute, we've won two, drew, won two lost one um, to a really decent player on the last one. Uh, but Trent is probably the best right back in the game rating wise. Um, I think the only one next to him realistically is prime Carlos Alberto at the minute. He's a 93 rated. Trent is going to cost you anywhere from about 1 mil to 1.1 if you was to get him. Is he going to go about a packs? I, I could probably see being a little bit of a spike. Can't see it being too much but I reckon there'll be a little bit of a spike going out of packs, and then it probably might deteriorate. Um, as we get into team of the season, you'll start to really see a dip, or at least anyone that challenges that position, um, like Carlos Alberto, is a very decent right back as well. If he manages to, for instance, get into icon swaps next, that would could that could really hinder the price of Trent. Um, but looking at Trent anyway, the stats are ridiculous. It's very, very OP. You could probably play this card in pretty much any position and get away with it. 92 pace, 85 shooting with 99 attacking positioning and shot power. Finishing lets him down, but obviously if you was to whack him as a, a cam or even if a striker if you really wanted, um, he's got a four star, three star. Um, you could just whack something, finisher on him and be done with it. Literally the card has got no, no limits to what he can do. Passing wise is outstanding at 97. Dribbling is fantastic. Defending's fan everything's good with this card. Literally. He has been incredible. And and to be honest, I could probably see him being my right back. I probably will sell this version because I do want to see if I can get an untradeable version of him. Um, or at least pack another one. We are gonna go into a game as well. We're gonna go to foot champs with him. But I will talk over like kind of like the, the different people you can get. Um, as you can see here, perfect example. Um, put in Mendy as a right back, um, even though he's a left back. Still works fine. I've had informed Semedo as my right back for pretty much most of FIFA um, since he came out. And he's been absolutely fantastic. So for me, I don't think just having a 7 chem really matters too much. Fulham Mendy was an incredible card, but again, was very selected because now the SBC has run out in a day. You can't do it anymore. So you've got to you got to think how many people did that SBC at free 400k. That that's really what you're looking at. Trent wise though, like I say, one mil. If you're gonna kind of judge him to all the other right backs you can get. Prime Carlos Alberto is 1.7 mil. The main difference for him, obviously, is the fact that he can link to anybody. Um, so that is a nice factor right there. And also, Primes haven't been in packs massively. This guy's got a little bit of a skill move and he's managed to get a bounce with Neymar there. I'm not liking how good he is already. Um, but Carlos Alberto's not been in packs majorly long. Um, obviously, Trent's only just gone in packs himself. But with the amount of upgrade packs and everything that's going on, more than likely, Trent was always going to be cheaper um, because, as well, he doesn't link everybody. That's, again, the major difference that Carlos Alberto has. Um, somebody else you're looking at, you could go with... Here we go, Trent's on the ball. Um, you could go with Zanetti. Um, he currently, his prime is actually in icon swaps for 17 uh, tokens. So, again, another very good right back. Probably would say he's not my choice over Trent or Carlos Alberto. But again, another solid 92 rated right back if you really wanted him. for at, Well, I say absolutely free. You've got to spend some time on it, but pretty much free. Um, so you, you can see where I'm going with it. Zamprata is another good one. Um, he, again, is another icon swaps. And this guy is absolutely destroying me. So one more and I'll probably leave this and we'll go into another two games. So going into the next game, I have to get my ass absolutely handed to me. We're coming up against a BPL slash La Liga team. Um, should be a lot easier. Um, but yeah, we, we got absolutely slapped in that match. I genuinely don't know why I couldn't even think to move. Uh, but like I was saying, Zambrota is another nice one. 89 rated, um, decent pace. All of them have the pace, have the defending. I think what Trent has more than any of them is every stat. Literally, Trent has not got a bad attribute to him his shooting is decent his passing his dribbling his defending his physical his pace most of the right backs have decent pace good uh, no uh, good pace decent passing decent defending good physicals so you can already see that that Trent's already gonna oh, I don't know what I was doing there oh 
<laughs> don't know what I was doing there. But yeah, Trent's mainly attribute is the fact that he's got a bit of everything. There, there's so much to him that he's a well-rounded, complete right back. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to like from him. Um, and some people don't like him. Like I, I, I kind of get that he's not the most favourite right back in the game. I think people do have their, their kind of set in stone. And he does require either someone like Van Dijk to be linked with or icons. Because predominantly, there is no English uh, walkouts. You could go with someone like Fabinho or someone like that. We're going to pass it round and make sure we get the goal. Zidane, easy win. There we go. Um, so, what I'm thinking about him, um, I already have played a few matches with him. I, I genuinely love the pace and the defensive element about him. I think the main thing that I do like about him is, is the fact that he can do everything. He literally has... A stat card that could go any position you really wanted. If you wanted to super sub him as someone on the wing, he could do it. If you want someone who could possibly go as a centre mid or a CDM, he could do it. That That's probably the biggest thing with this card, is the vers uh, versatility of him. So that that's pretty much what I, I kind of gather from this card and what I can get from the stats. He is a very well-rounded stat card. And a mil... I'd probably say that's pretty fair game compared to the other cards um, in terms of uh, right backs. I think that's a pretty fair price that you're going to have to pay for him. Trent winning the ball back. There we go. Always there as well. That That's the main thing. And especially being someone who's going to be um, back on them corners. He's going to be so quick to try and defend against that he will save a lot of time um, chasing back. But you get it to Trent. Trent's... Jockey and back. I like his positioning as well. We'll cut in a little bit. Go with the cheeky one too. And look at just look at the pace on him. It's just fantastic work from him. He's managed to score a goal and make him quit. Lovely. That that's exactly what I like from this card. He has got everything. So overall I'm already giving him a 10 because to be honest, I don't think personally I don't think there is a better right back. I think there's people that can challenge him. But I don't think there's a right back that is as good as him stat-wise. If you went stat for stat, personally, I think Trent would be the best. Is this guy playing again? So that that's my overall opinion on him. But obviously, we will go in, into another game as if this guy's quitting or not. I don't particularly know why. Okay, so he is gone. We're going to go into the third game. And then we'll get the overall on Trent's review for you. So going into the third game with Trent in this review, we're coming up against... A little bit of a different team. We've got some SBC League players. We've got Fulham Mendes Red, Walker Red, Batshuayi, uh, Toss, is it Tossan? Toss, someone like that. Uh, Chamberlain, King, Salas, Soko, and big, big Virgil van Dijk. So a BPL team with a few special cards in them. And I do like looking at people's teams. I love seeing the different kind of special cards that everyone's playing with. Um, personally, not the most meta team, but in this game, I found that when you find a team that works, it does not matter the rating, who you've got. You could have 99 Ronaldo, pretty much like myself, but if you come up against someone who's actually really good at the game, they will absolutely slap him out of your hands. Trent gets beaten a little bit, but pace is not a problem. Oh, hey, there we go. He's managed to push him off. It's a good... There we go. Good defending. Back out. Brilliant work. Really good pace. Uh, I think he's against the... Is it the... I don't know his name. Is it... Uh, I'll have to find out what his name is. Um, who we got going on here. Silver. Doing absolute work. Turns him inside. Goes with a little feint outside. Virgil's there. I should have went with another little cheek turn in. Couldn't find the right moment for me. Oh, that's a good ball. Virgil should be on that though. Oh, King has gone past him. That's a good save from Allison as well, though. Another review that will be coming out. Um, I'm going to try and hopefully get Allison uh, done tomorrow or or uh, Robertson, depending on if I pack anyone. Um, because obviously I am doing upgrade packs. Um, I've currently done so many and not got one singular one after Allison, and he's going to score that. Oi, that's another great save from Allison, and he's gone for the short pass. Obviously he can't reach that. Ronaldo. Oh, Trent, always there, lovely, Zidane, Trent again, lovely, lovely defending from him, we just cannot break each other's defence down, I think he's going to have more chances than me, but it, we, we are struggling both to, to really get there, um, he personally is getting a little bit closer, but I'm kind of managing 
to kind of stop that final attack, if anything. Um, but he's really closing me down in, in this sort of position. I can get here, and then that's about it. Neymar. Oh, we've done it. We've bagged the first goal. Managed to luckily get past there. Um, he's probably making some subs now because it's been a good game. End to end, we've literally just not had many shots against each other. I don't think I've had many shots at all, so we will have a look at the stats because I feel like he's been on top. Um, he's definitely had the better better chances, I feel. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, no, actually, I have, but to be honest, I don't think I've had many more. Um, I feel like he's had more of the attack in possession compared to me. Arnold, oh, that's almost. I was close to going for a shot, um, but he did manage to uh, to really defend with... Oh, defend with Virgil there. Closing off the option for the shot. I felt like he did that really, really well. That is a pass and a half. The pace on him, that's what's really doing it. And I think what a lot of people won't expect is you running at them with a right back. Go on. Kante. Oi. He's going to throw it there. Too, too easy to kind of judge now. I feel like I'm kind of gathering what he can and can't do. That's a good ball. It's a good goal. Literally two seconds after I said that I've kind of gathered what he can and can't do. You don't know what they're going to do. And that's going to be a goal. It's a beautiful goal. Trent getting an assist as well. Straight away hitting back. Oh, and it's absolutely gorgeous play. Neymar with, I think, a hat trick, I want to say he got there. Fantastic worth. Sealing off the game. And that is pretty much it. That's all she wrote. It's a great performance in the end. So going into Trent's overall review, we've managed to play three matches with him. Won two, lost one. Same as Ronaldo um, in foot champs. I was very impressed with him. I think for what he played and how he played, um, he managed to get an assist and score a goal in that. I was absolutely blown away from his pace. I feel like that was his main attribute, as well as the defensive ability of him. Just actually being able to cope with the, the, the wingers, with their pace. Managing to kind of hold them off really well, as well as holding his own with his strength. And just the overall, all-round ability of him. I definitely could see him playing as a CDM. I really think if you could get a different a CDM as a right-back, maybe foot birthday when they do something like that. You really could use this card anywhere on this pitch. It's absolutely incredible. Literally, if you put a, a certain chem style on him, you can really get something out of this card. And I think it's an absolute fantastic one. As as for price, I think he's pretty much bang on. I personally can't see why a mil is not really worth this card. Realistically, a mil isn't a massive amount in this game now. Um, it is obviously still quite a bit. But in this, in this day and age of FIFA where... Players are costing like Neymar and Mbappe right at the start were a mil. You've got people like Hullet who are a mil. Messi who cost two mil. That's not really a lot compared to everybody else. So for me, I think he's 100% worth it. And I do think you need to try him out. If you've not got a right back um, that you're happy with and you've got money to burn... I'd happily go try him out. I think he was a fantastic right back for me. Like I said in the video, he's, he's definitely a 10 out of 10. You can't argue with that. For me, I without saying without playing with the prime Carlos Alberto, I want to say he's the best right back in the game. For, for me, I will see what Car uh, Carlos Alberto's like. But for me at the minute, that is the best right back I've played with. So I will probably try and get him untradeable because that would be the, the overall game. That would be absolutely incredible. Um, but at the minute, I am very, very happy with this card. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think. Have you packed any team of, the, uh, team of the years? Have you played with any of them? Let me know down below. Let me know your experience with them. Make sure whilst you're down there as well, if you want to like and subscribe, that would always be brilliant. Nearly at that 5K, that is going to be absolutely incredible. But I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.